Hi fitness friends, today I have a full body workout for you that was written by our dear fitness friend, Jory. So if you like this workout, make sure you leave it with a thumbs up and let Jory know in the comment section below. This is a sneaky itch quarantine workout. <laughs> Jory comes up with some really cool names and this one is a sneaky itch workout. So she created a set that we will be repeating throughout the workout and she called it the sneaky itch. And um, I'm gonna be starting off with that. It's a three minute set, it's body weight only. That's what I'm gonna use as my warm up. If you need more than that, push pause, get it done, and then come back and join me for the workout. I'll also only be using my plyo box set at 16 inches, dumbbells, and a kettlebell for just one move at the end. So this whole workout can be just a dumbbell workout. If you don't have an incline or a plyo, bet, plyo box to use, you can do this workout on the floor, or you could use a chair or even like a coffee table. Anything just to elevate a little bit would be fine. All right, I will see you for this workout in just a minute. All right, guys, I am ready to hit start on our first sneaky itch set. So this is a repeated sequence move. I will walk you through it nice and slow. I'm gonna hit start, you have a 10 second countdown. No weights or anything, just your plyo box or chair. We're starting with an incline push up. So hands are up, feet are down. Incline push up. Now shoulder tap both sides. So one, two, hold your body nice and tight for those taps. Hop it up. You're going to step up with your outside leg like a curtsy, up and over, down, put the, your left hand on your bench, side plank, dip, flip towards your bench again, and repeat. So incline push up, shoulder tap right, left, hop it in, this leg comes curtsying up and over, down, right hand on the bench, hip dip, nice, back again. Just keep it, flowing. Oops. <laughs> keep it flowing, get your shoulder taps. So push up, shoulder taps, pop it in, curtsy up and over, left hand on the bench, hip dip, incline push up, shoulder tap, pop it in, curtsy up and over, hip dip. That's one minute down. You've got two more minutes here. In. Oops, outside leg. We'll get the hang of it. We'll be repeating this enough that you will get it. Tap it. Hop it in. Outside leg steps up and over. Right hand down. Hop out. Hip dip. Those shoulder taps, nothing else should be moving but your arms on your body, that hip stabilization. Work it through the core. Hi, Muffin. Hop it in, curtsy up, and over. Right hand down, hip dip. Both hands on the bench. That's your second minute down. We've got one more minute here. What's up, bro? Dip it. Hands on. Push up. Tap it. You got 30, about 35 seconds left. tiny bit and that we're going to be increasing reps the next time we do it. So each part of the move will be increasing reps. And that's the end of that. Okay, get your pie box out of the way. Not on top of the baby. I see you. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is going to be a killer pyramid. We are doing five reps to one rep to five reps, okay? Up and down with man makers. We are pairing that with, in between each round of man makers, we're gonna do 10 slams and 30 seconds of either battle rope arms holding light dumbbells 
or chops, okay? It's your choice, you get to choose. Um, you always get to choose. This is your workout, okay? So starting off with man makers, five reps. I'm gonna go 25s. Choose your weight accordingly. We usually do these pyramids one to five to one, but Jory decided to slam us with five to one to five. Here we go, five hand makers. Push up row, push up row, hop it in. That's it. That's one.
Can you switch sides? Ready and switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, three man makers. You guys got the idea of this, it's gonna fly.
inner dialogue, how you are treating yourself in your head. Ready? Switch. It should be good. It should be strong. It should be encouraging. Guys, you are all my friends. You are all my fitness friends. I don't let people talk bad to my friends. So don't do it. Let's go. Two man makers. How many of you count yourself as a loyal person? Are you loyal to your friends? Are you loyal to your family? Then be loyal to yourself. Come on. Let's go. One more. Four, five, 
You've got 10 seconds till your chops. Yes, yes, yes. Grab that weight. Only 15 seconds per side. Let's go. Five seconds to slip. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Get it going. Throw it up over your shoulder. Chop it down. Three, two, and one. You made it to your final round in this pyramid. Five nail makers. off the slams and shots. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty seconds of chops is all you got left in this First pyramid set. Grab that weight. Here we go. Starting at my shoulder. Core is tight. Holding it in. Doing your best not to rotate. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Switch it. Here we go, round to three. One, two, three. 
three, three shoulder taps. One, two, three, hop it in. Curtsies up and over for three. So one, two, three. Come down, three dips. You guys got this? Are you with me? One, two, three. Three push-ups. One, two, three. Three shoulder taps. One, don't rotate at all. Two, squeeze it tight. Three, hop it in. Outside leg comes over for one, two, three. Incline dips for three. One, two, three. Go for four, you have one minute left. One, two, three, four. Four shoulder taps, squeezing tight for one, two, three, four. Curtsies for four. One, two, three, four. Incline dips for four. One, two, three, four. Incline push up for four. One, two, three, four. And then curtsy it up for one. Two, three, four. Incline dips again. Almost there. Two, three, four. And you're finished. That couldn't have worked out more perfectly. <laughs> okay. Setting this bench back aside. We're going to move right on. Our next step is a circuit. We're doing three rounds total. The moves are a weighted burpee for eight, goblet squats for eight, and then drop the weight and squat jump for eight, alternating reverse lunges and bicep curls. We haven't done that move in about three years. <laughs> Don't know why. And a lateral raise to a front raise to an upright row. That equals one rep. We'll be doing eight of those also. So eight reps per move, three times through. Weighted burpee. I'm going to jump up with my weights. So I'm going to go with 12s. If you'd like to hold your weights down when you jump, you certainly can do that. And maybe go a little bit heavier. It's completely up to you. Okay. You've got eight. Let's do it. On the ground. Full push-up in between the weights. One. Let's go. 
lateral, front, upright row. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. Set it down. We're back to burpees at the top. as needed always. Rest as you need to always. To check your form. Quality is key, okay? Weighted burpees for eight. One. Five, 
squats and squat jumps. Get your weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop it. Squat jumps for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse lunges. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Final move in this set. You've got lateral fronts and uprights. Here we go. One, get them up front. Upright, one. One, two, three, four, shoulder taps. 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 One, two, three, four, sho
two, three, four. Hop it in, curtsy up and over. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I think I lost count again so I was looking at the clock. <laughs> One, two, three, you made it. All right, guys, I've had a mini interruption, so I had to push pause and take a short break, but as always, when you are working out at home, if you get interrupted, you deal with what you need to deal with. If it's something that you can put off and you say, this is my time, that's okay, do that. But if it's something important, get to it, get it done, get back to your workout, okay? It's not that serious. What's serious is your health, mental health, and physical health, okay? That is serious, that's to be taken seriously. So, that being said, I'm back at it. <laughs> we have I'm still sweating, so I didn't really, I got like maybe five minutes there. We have a combo move pyramid set. We're going up, or going down from seven reps to four reps in our moves, okay? So for the first move, we're doing seven pull over our leg lifts, and then we're doing seven weighted straight leg sit ups. Second move is renegade rows, push ups, and step ups. We're doing each of those for six reps. And then we're doing five reps of a single, single arm snatch and press. So you do five snatches and five presses. And then our four rep round, we're doing four cleans, four squats, and four presses, okay? So let's get some weights here. I'm gonna stick with 25s, I think. I'm gonna try to. This kind of is a good weight for me for getting all these moves done in this set. So for the first move, I'll just do one single 25 pound dumbbell for the pullover leg lifts and then weighted straight leg sit-ups. Let's go. On the back. Pull over leg like left. Make sure that lower back is pinned to the mat. Hold that weight with both arms. Get them both up. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Bring those legs out straight, weight to your chest. Sit it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice work. Set it down. I'm going to grab my other 25 pound dumbbell. We have six reps of Renegade Rows, six push-ups, then six dumbbell step-ups per leg. So Renegade Rows, you count on one arm only, you get to six reps. High plank position, let's go. Row your hip. One. Two, spread those legs out to give you a wider base. So you're not rotating all over. Three. Four. Five, six, six push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hop it up. Six step-ups per leg. One, two, three, four. legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. We have five single arm snatches and five presses per arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I have to use my legs a little bit for the 25. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. If you want to drop the weight and do a strict press, by all means do it. One, 
two, three, four, five. Five presses. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Okay, we've got four cleans, four squats, four presses. Starting with those dumbbell cleans, just to your shoulders. One, two, three, four. Four squats at your shoulders. One, two, three, four. Four presses. One, two, three, four. Awesome work. Okay, that was round one. We've got two more rounds. So pull over, leg lift, seven reps. I like this round. Nice combos, Jory. Challenging, fast and fun. Legs are up, weight is up. Drop it and pull over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, sit up, strip those legs out straight. Sit up for seven, one, two, three, four, five, You've got those plank rows, push-ups, and step-ups. Six reps per move. Grab your weights. Here we go. Alternating for six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Take a deep breath, get a drink. 
we're in the final round and your final rep set in this workout. I know, I'm so fast. Okay. Pull over, leg left. Seven reps. Weight is up, legs are up. Here we go, heart rate is up. <laughs> One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring your legs down, bring that weight to your chest. Sit ups for seven. One, two, three, four.
four, five. Come down through your dips. Guys, I don't know if you can see this burn on my arm. Apparently my biceps are so big I burn it with my curling iron. Four, five. Yes, I actually burnt my arm, my bicep with my curling iron. One, two, three, four, five. And then curtsies to be fair. It was one of those like triple prong ones. One, one, two, three, four, five. So it's like much bigger than what a normal crab leg is. But still. One, two, three, four, five. I guess I'm out of practice being on quarantine. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't done my hair in two months. So two, three, four, five. Dip it for five. One, two, three, four, five. Incline push up. One, two, three, four, five. Curtsies. So I did try to keep it covered, but I sweated that bandy right off. <laughs> three, four, five. Dip it. You're on your last minute, by the way. One, two, three, four, five. Incline push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think I forgot shoulder taps on the other side because I was talking to you. Oh my God, but we're finished. We made it through. Guys, if you ever mess up or you have to push pause because you messed up, you're human. Give yourself a little grace. Smile about it. It's not a big deal. You'll be healthier for smiling about it than you will from stressing about it. Okay? All right. We're finishing off this killer workout with a mini Metcon finisher. What are you doing? Oops. We are doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And we have four moves that we're going through. We're going to do each move three times. Goblet squats. Mountain climbers, swings, if you have a kettlebell, you're gonna grab it, and plank cross body knee to elbow. Okay, so you can do that as a cross body mountain climber, or you can go low and slow and focus on some more core if you want. So let me get to this Tabata timer here. We've got 12 rounds total. That's a six minute set. Six minutes between you and the end of this workout. And you can be so proud of yourself because this was a lot of fun. A lot of sweat. All right, goblet squats. Grab your weight up under your chin. Squat it out. You're here for 20 seconds. That's it. Simple move. Up and down. 10 seconds. Don't be afraid of Tabata. You got this. Three, two, one, 10 second break. Here we go. Squat it out. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Place your weight in your heels. Use your breath. 
Three, two, one. Get that weight out of your way. Mountain climbs are next for three rounds. Here we go. Hands are right under your shoulders. Core is tight. Butt is down, but not too far down that you're reaching your back. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rest. Two more rounds. Three, two, and one. I love you all so much. I will see you at the next workout.